back to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing my updated glam tutorial. I did one a little bit over a year ago and for the most part it's pretty similar but a lot of the products have changed so I know you guys wanted to see an updated video so here it is. I walked you through my skincare as well as makeup so if you want to see how I got this look make sure to keep on watching. First, I am going to clip my hair back. I got these like rose gold clips from Ulta. I think I showed them in a haul from like a little bit ago. I don't know how many videos back it was. So before I do my makeup, I am a big, big user of skincare and I really, really like eye masks and sheet masks. So right now I'm using the MDNA Skin Eye Mask. This is actually Madonna's skincare line and she has like these eye masks so I'm using one today. They come in like little packages like this and it feels really nice. It feels like a sheet mask but for your eyes. So I've had these on for like about 15 minutes so I'm about to take them off. But before I start doing my makeup and stuff and showing you guys like my skincare, I just wanted to address this guy. So like for the past week I've been like okay on Thursday I'm going to film an updated glam routine because I know you guys really want to see that. And I woke up this morning and there was a bug bite on my face. I honestly think I am allergic to mosquitoes i am very prone to bug bites especially mosquito bites and like in hawaii i literally got bit like 52 times and i woke up with one on my forehead like my temple and i don't know how to get rid of it but like when my hair is down you won't see it but in case you guys were wondering like what is that bump on her head that's not usually there i got a bug bite last night it's not cute and i'm sorry but i just thought i would address it in case you're like what the hell is that first things first i like to use a serum this one is the polish choice one and it comes in like a little tube so i kind of just like put it on my face like this I don't know if this is a lot for some people. Oh, that's more than normal on my forehead. We're just gonna like, hmm. So I kind of just like put it all over my face and then I kind of just blend it in. That's how I apply my moisturizer too. I kind of just like to put it in the five areas and then work my way around my face. After that, I do moisturizer. Currently, I'm using the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This isn't like my favorite primer, but it does the job and it's actually pretty good. But my favorite one is the one from Pharmacy. It's so good and it's a gel moisturizer. And personally, I like that better because this one's like a lotion consistency and the pharmacy one is like a gel consistency. I've talked about the pharmacy one on my channel before. It's like a gel and it's so good. And whenever I use that, my skin is literally popping. After moisturizer, I like to do eye cream. I've talked about this in so many videos, but this is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. I live for this stuff. It helps my eyes not get crusty because I know I wear concealer underneath my eyes. So a lot of the time it will like start to like crease or like crack because it's so dry. I try to just use eye cream as much as possible. It also helps prevent wrinkles. And I don't know, I'm just like a really, big eye cream girl. Last but not least is oil. This is the Milk Sunshine Oil. I got this the last time I went to Sephora and I'm literally obsessed with it. I've used so much of it and I haven't even had it for that long. But this stuff is so good. I really, really love oil on my skin. I know some people cannot use oil because it breaks them out or whatever. And then I know some people like to apply the oil underneath their moisturizer, but personally I like to do this process because this helps my skin looks so dewy when I put foundation on top of it and it's just so nice and you guys will see a pattern of like when I do my glam I want my skin to look literally as dewy as possible. So now I'm gonna like prime and stuff. I know this is technically like not skincare but it's like the beginning part of makeup so this is the MAC strobe cream. I use the pink one. Again I use this because I like to look super dewy and this just helps with making your skin look so glowy and like fresh and healthy this looks like you just drank like seven gallons of water and your skin is just glowing from within like can you see my skin just looks like so healthy this is like my favorite thing to use when i want like a no makeup day because it just makes your skin look so like 
beautiful. <laughs> Last time I did a makeup tutorial, I did not use this foundation and you can obviously tell like my skin has been looking better ever since Coachella. So before I went to Coachella, I was talking to the girl at Sephora. I wanted to get shade matched because I actually had a spray tan. So I was like, oh my God, I need to get a new foundation. And I was like, okay, I'm going to Coachella. I need a foundation that's gonna last all day. That isn't gonna move while I'm dancing around and like maybe sweating because it's pretty hot there. I just need a foundation that is going to last and stick. And she recommended this one. This one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And ever since I went to Coachella, I've been obsessed with this. I went back to my old foundation after Coachella and it just wasn't the same. So I got this in my normal color for when I'm not spray tanned. It's just so amazing. I don't wear this every day. Honestly, I don't even wear this makeup that I'm about to show you every single day. This is like for when I want to look glam or I'm going somewhere or I'm just wanting to take pictures. But like this is a full coverage foundation. So I just put some on the back of my hand. The only thing I have to say about this foundation is that there's no pump, which is kind of annoying. But what I do is I just put like little finger dabs <laughs> and then I blend. So this may not look like my color because of the lighting from my vanity. It's very yellow. I know when I did my makeup in the Ariana Grande vlog when I went to her concert, someone commented like, girl, that is not your shade. Like, why are you going so yellow toned? And like, first of all, that wasn't my normal foundation. So it didn't help my case, but like this lighting makes my skin look so yellow and I don't really know what to do because this is why I like to film my makeup tutorials. So I'm sorry about that, but just trust me when I say this is my color. Now moving on to concealer. These are the two concealers that I like. Obviously the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade light if you're wondering. I'm pretty pale. Or I like the concealer from Glossier. It's actually really good. This is their stretch concealer and I'm in the color G11. Today I think I'm just going to use the Glossier concealer and I just use like one of my little Tarte Mermaid brushes and I just dip in like this and then I kind of apply it like this. Okay, now I'm gonna do powder, and the powder that I'm currently using is the Tarte Shape Tape Powder. I actually really like this one because it's not super cakey. Go underneath my eyes, my nose, a little bit on my chin, and then I set my eyelid because I always crease there, and this primes me for eyeshadow. These are the eyebrow products I use. I honestly do not know this brand. My mom like won like a basket at like a charity auction thing that she did for like a poker tournament. The brand is Chella. I don't know. This is a eyebrow cream. So basically it's just like a cream and then a little angled brush. It's similar to like Dip Brow from Anastasia. But honestly, like any eyebrow product works for my brows because they're pretty like dark and full. So I don't really have to do much to them. So that's a difference. It's nothing too crazy, but there's definitely a difference. Okay, time for eyeshadow. I'm using the Morphe 35O palette. First, I go in with this like light brown transition color. Next, I'm gonna go in with like this warm brown. Then I just go in with this color to put it on my outer corner, that way it gives some definition. Time for the sparkly color on the lid. This one is the Tarte Chrome Paint in Tapiat. It's like a singular eyeshadow, it looks like this. It's champagne colored, it's so pretty. And then I just blend everything with like a big fluffy brush. Next is eyeliner, this one is just the Tarte double take eyeliner. I don't know the name of it. It looks like this. I don't do wings every day. I do do wings sometimes and I love my wings, but it's not like an everyday thing. I just kind of like line my lash line. That way when I put 
the eyelashes on it blends better i always get questions about what lashes i use and honestly i will re-wear the same eyelashes until they're literally falling apart and breaking my favorite ones are the ardell ones i like double up and the style i use often is the 203s are on it might look a little crusty right now because i didn't put on mascara yet but i'm gonna let the lash glue dry a little bit and then i'm gonna put on mascara and then blend them together while that lash glue is drying i'm gonna do bronzer this is the sugar rush bronzer um i don't know what the name of it is i just got it in pr so i use it After I do that, I just go in with banana powder to wipe away the bake underneath my eye and just make it set more. This is an Anastasia contour kit. I love banana powder, but I also really like this like normal powder shade to kind of clean up the contour slash bronzer underneath. After I do that, I like to do the under eye eyeshadow. So for underneath my eye, I go in with that same transition color and I just use like a pencil brush. And then for the inner corner, I'm just taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter and I'm taking the color Lightning Dust. And I'm just going to take it on like a little flat brush and I'm going to put it on my inner corner. After that, I'm going to do mascara on my bottom lashes and blend the top lashes to the fake ones. I think this is called the Tarte Lights Camera Action Mascara. I honestly don't know the name of it. And then I do my top lashes. I know I do my makeup like in a really weird order, but this is just like how I like to do it. Then I just take my blush. This one is the Sugar Bomb from Benefit. And I like to take a like compact powder puff <laughs> and I like to just put it on my apples and my cheeks. Then I'm going to take my highlight, which this is the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. First I do my nose and then I go in and do my cheeks. Ready? Ta -da. <laughs> I do lipstick people always ask me what lip combo I wear and this is what I wear literally every single day This is the Mac lipstick in honey love. I swear Mac has the best lipsticks This is just like my favorite nude on me and I haven't found a lipstick that I think is better And then I just go over it with the Fenty lip gloss And then last but not least I like to use the Anastasia dewy set setting spray And that is it for the makeup. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and found it helpful and you found some new products that you want to try. If you try out this makeup look, make sure to tweet me or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And remember, you can do this makeup however you want. You can take out some steps. You can add some steps. Whatever you want to do. This is personally just how I like to do my glam. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me and we would love to have you part of the B family. I promise for welcoming. And that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you.